Hello everyone. So today we're going to check out how to make this animation on your Android Studio, which we discuss about five type of animation and we'll be doing them on a button. Okay, so go to the last project that we created or if you didn't see the very first project, you can just go ahead and um, to the last video of this playlist and you can see from the beginning how to make how to create so we're going to add a few buttons to our layout here i will add a few buttons i will add four more buttons okay and then i'll try to rename them to appropriately to show the appropriate animation that will be shown by those buttons so we have a fade Okay, I'll give it a background, as you can see, that value there. And I will change the size of the text. And so I will copy these to all the other four, uh, the other three buttons. But I'll be changing the color so that all the buttons will have different colors. Right, so go ahead and change the names. Change the text and the size. It depends on you. You can put two three four five how many you like and just make the corresponding changes to all the text and the size the color the way you like you don't need to follow me here so as you can see now we have five buttons with different colors and so we'll start with the fade and we'll give it an on click an on click here which is tap Tap to fade. Okay, so we we'll go back to the main activity and we will we'll declare this button as usual button 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 find view by ID and we we'll give it the respective ID that we had there, which is button two. We'll find it by the ID that we gave it there, which is button two. Now we are going to assign the animation on this. Okay, just like we did the last time. And we are going to load our animation on this context. We are going to supply our resource, which is r.anim.fade. But we have not yet uh, created this uh, resource. So when we finish with this part here, we will go and create that. Yeah, now we go ahead to your resource folder, anim folder and right click and add a new resource file which will give it a name fade and right there you will be presented with this so you will add some code inside there all right so we change the alpha the beginning value will be zero and the end will be one and duration it will take about um, three seconds We'll add another alpha and we we'll put an offset there, which will be also three seconds. And it will start at one and finish at zero. And also we'll add a duration of three seconds. So when we check, you can see it's fading there. Okay, we're going to go back to our main our main activity layout and we're going to do the same to other buttons as well. But with different, remember it's different uh, animation. This one, for example, will be blink. So we go, so we're going to give it on click, which will be blink. And we'll do the same. I think I'll just copy and paste those code, but I'll change the button to be um, not button two, but button three, and the uh, resource will be blink. And since this blink is not yet uh, made, I will create one. So as you can see, I'll give it a name blink, and blink has come. So we'll do the same for all of these other buttons. And so we'll change the alpha blinking the beginning will be zero and the final will be one I will give it an interpolator 
so it's a droid anim accelerate interpolator and we give it a duration of six uh, of 600 the repeat mode is reverse and the uh, repeat count will make it blink keep on blinking so the count will be infinity in infinite when we try to run on our on our emulator here and try to tap that and you see that it's blinking all right so right now we'll go straight to slide which we'll do the same thing we we'll go to layout and we'll make an on click there and we'll create a method code to slide enter or option return and go to your and choose in your main activity there and then in the main activity you do the same you, you copy and paste that code and um, change the button ID and the and the name of our resource will be slide so and then we will go and create the slide resource file in our anim folder and inside there we'll create a slide in which we'll start with the scale we'll give it a duration of 500 it will start x scale of 1 and y scale of 1 now on this we also need to give it an interpolator which will, which will also be equal to android anim linear interpolator and also we have to give it to x scale which will be 1 and to y scale which will be 0 okay now if we try to run it and we see we go to the slide button when we tap slide you will see it will slide like that yeah we are going to go to the last one so we'll go to our last button which is move all right we create and click again out enter or option return and you will create in the main activity then you go to the main activity you copy the same and then you assign your button id and the resource will be move and then we go and create the resource again all right you'll give it a name move and then you start coding so we're going to translate x delta which will be zero percent zero percent p to y to x delta which will be 75 percent p and it do it at which uh, the time that it will take will be 800 which is 0.8 seconds okay if we try to run this as usual it's also working all right so right now you can check all those other buttons are working well as well so i will see you later bye bye